personality of Godhead, Kupita continued, My dear mother, now I shall describe unto you the different categories of the absolute truth, knowing which any person can be released from the influence of the modes of material nature. <coughs> This is the disease. This is called material disease. One is infected by the prakita gun. The prakita gun, gun means quality, uh, <coughs> modes. So, prakita means this material, prakriti, and uh, spiritual means aprakita. There are different stages of knowledge. Pratyakha, parakha, aparakha, <coughs> adukhaja, aprakita. One has to go step by step. Uh, general knowledge means pratyakha, whatever we perceive by the senses. That is called pratyakha. And the knowledge which we receive from authorities, that is parakha. Hmm. Then aparakha, realization. Then adhokhaja. Adhokhaja means Knowledge is beyond your perception. But there is source of knowledge. Adhokhaja. Therefore, God's another name is Adhokhaja. Adha. Adha means subduing. Uh, bringing under subjugation. Adhakrita Akhaja. Akhaja means the knowledge directly perceived by the senses. Akha means eyes, and akha means or to cure. So <clears throat> any knowledge within the alphabet, A, B, C, D, that is called akhaja. And the knowledge which is beyond that, that is called adhokhaja. And beyond the Adhakhaja knowledge, there is Aprakita. Aprakita knowledge. So, uh, the Prakita Gunai, so long we are in this material world, infected by the uh, material qualities, Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, that is Prakita life, not Aprakita. Uh, you have to go step by step. Uh, so our Krishna consciousness movement is uh, uh far beyond this prakita knowledge, prakita knowledge. The highest position of prakita or material life is the standard of brahminical qualification. But that is also prakit. That is not a prakit. Uh, that is also not the Brahma realization. Brahma jnanati thi brahmana. That is uh, also the highest stage of prakita. Glimpse of the light. Uh, but one has to become free from the prakita environment. Uh, prakita gunai. Our present position is we are infected by the prakita gun. Some of them are infected by the satagon, some of them are infected by the rajagon, some of them are infected by tamagun. So long one is infected by the tamagon and rajagon, his uh, position is very uh, 
abominable. Rajasthama. One has to become at least on the Shatogon, the Brahminical qualification. Then uh, spiritual knowledge can be realized. Prakita uh, So Kapildev proposes to his mother, Kapildev is Bhagavan. Uh, we have explained several times, Bhagava means opulence and Ban means one who possesses. So what is that opulence? Aishadya, richness. Aishadyasya, samakrasya. Uh, one who is possession, one who has in his possession all the wealth, uh, all the wealth, uh, we have several times explained this. Nobody can claim except Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Nobody can claim that all the wealth within this universe belongs to me. Nobody can say. But Krishna can say, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhoktaram Jagatavasam Sarvaluku Mahesaram. I am the proprietor of all the lokas, of all the planets. We become proprietor a few thousands of years, and there are so many difficulties. And he is the proprietor of the whole universe. That is also very little uh, estimation, because Krishna says, atva bahunaitena kingyatena tavarjuna viṣṭabhya aham idaṁ kṛṣṇaṁ ekāṅśena sthiti. Krishna said that by my one plenary portion <coughs> I am possessing or controlling the innumerable universes. We have no information of one universe. Innumerable universe, that is also we cannot estimate. But the innumerable universes are estimated to give us some glimpse of knowledge in the Brahma Sangita. Jasyaika nishyasita kālama thāvanamva jīvanti lōma vilajā jagadanna nātha viṣṇūr mahān sahiya jasya kalāviseśo govinda mādi purisam tamā. There is one feature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead who is called Mahāviṣṇu. That Mahāviṣṇu, that is the origin of this material creation. So Mahāviṣṇu is in the sleeping condition. So in sleeping condition, with the breathing, universes are coming. And when it is inhaled, the whole universe is annihilated, dissolved. Uh, so this is only one portion. Uh, there are many evidences. So you cannot claim to become Bhagavan so cheaply. Uh, Bhagavan is different thing. One who is devotee of Bhagavan, he knows something about Bhagavan. And the other rascals, they claim Bhagavan, simply ludicrous. Only the rascals can accept another rascal as Bhagavad. It is not so easy. Just say ko nishyasita kālam athāva lamba jīvanti lōma vilajā jagadanna nāpha viṣṇūr mahāna sāhiya jasya kalāviseśa govinda mādi purisam tamāṁ. So that Bhagavan is speaking. Kapildev is that Bhagavan. Therefore he says, that athatte prava sam pravaksāmi sam means sammak sammak means complete unless one has got complete knowledge how he can say things complete it is not the so-called scientist perhaps it may be no not that kind of knowledge simply theorizing uh, it may be like that. Uh, no, there is no question of maybe. 
uh, exact knowledge, uh, exact knowledge. That is called Vedic knowledge. Just like <coughs> in the Padma Pura, we can understand the calculation of the species of life. It is said, Jalaja Navalakhani, Savara Lakhavimsati. There are aquatic living entities, nine lakhs formed. How many you have seen? Neither it is possible for you to go within the water and see how many different forms of fishes and aquatics are there. But in the Shastra it is said, Jalaja Navalakhani, it doesn't say about Navalakh, about nine lakhs, or more or less, no, exact. Jalaja Navalakhani, Sabra Lakhavinsati. Sabra means those uh, plants and trees which cannot move, uh, two millions, Lakhavinsati, or twenty lakhs. So that is Vedic knowledge. You get the exact knowledge. Therefore Vedic knowledge is called apaurasya. It is not spoken by ordinary human being, by speculation. It may be, perhaps. No, it is not that. That is Bhagavad. Whatever we will say, exact. That is Vedic knowledge. Therefore it is safer to take knowledge from Bhagavan especially the knowledge of Bhagavan. Uh, Bhagavan is not so cheap thing. If you want to know Bhagavan, if you do not be so fool to accept another fool as Bhagavan, then you have to hear about Bhagavan, about Bhagavan. That is the uh, process. <coughs> Therefore the Vedic instruction is, to get perfect knowledge, you have to approach a person who is guru, that vijñāna thamsa guru meva abhigacce. And who is guru? Guru means uh, representative of Bhagavan. Sakshād haritvena samastha śāstrai rukta sthatha bhābhatai vasadvī. <coughs> guru, because the real guru, he is representative of Krishna, uh, Sakshādhari. Uh, Sakshādhari tena samastha śāstra. In all scriptures it is described that uh, Guru is as good as Bhagavan. Uh, and means he knows from the right source. Therefore he may be, not maybe exactly, but uh, as good, Sakshādhari tena. Why? Kintu prabhurja priya evatasya. Guru is servant, servant god. Uh, the master god and the servant god. Uh, Krishna is the master god. And uh, Guru is the servant god. Although he is respected as Krishna, still, kintu prabhurja priya evatasya. He does not claim that I have become Krishna. No. He is very dear to Krishna. Kintu Prabhu Ja Priya. Priya means dear. Why he is so dear? Because he preaches the Master's message. Therefore he is dear. If he preaches his own message, manufactured, then he is not Guru. He is not Guru. He is the deceit uh, that now there are so many rascals, they say like that, that Krishna was Bhagavan. That is past now. He is dead and gone. <coughs> now I am Krishna. There are many rascals, they say like that. But these rascals are accepted by other rascals. God is never dead. God, how you can get? Even the ordinary living being, he is not dead. Najayate namriyate. Even we, living entities, never die or never born. How? 
the Supreme Lord can be uh, dead or born. That is not the fact. <coughs> so therefore, if we discuss Bhagavan, there are so many things to be uh, understood about Bhagavan. Aishadyasya samagrasya bijasya jasasya sriya jnana-vairāgya-sthaiva saraiti bhagangana. Uh, one who possesses the full opulence of richness, one who possesses all the powers, all the influence, all beauty, all knowledge, all renunciation, that is Bhagavan. You haven't got to uh, think very seriously. You take the formula given in the Vedas, that is perfect knowledge, you understand everything. Uh, therefore, uh, the intelligent men, they follow the Vedic Indians, then the knowledge is perfect. Uh, it is already there. Uh, so Bhagavan watch, the, and Bhagavan is speaking, athatte sampravakṣāmi tattānāṁ of the truth, lakshanam, characteristic. Everyone has to understand anything by the characteristic. Just like in the chemical laboratory, <coughs> if you send something for chemical analysis just to see whether it is pure, so they have got in their uh, authorized books, pharmacopoeia, the characteristic. Uh, the, the soda bika is characterized is like this, its taste is like this, uh, it is uh, formed like this, granules or powder, or so many things. They analyze. And when the characteristics are corroborated, then they accept, yes, it is this. Similarly, you have to accept God from the characteristics by analysis. Uh, not that any rascal comes and says, I am Bhagavan. Then you must know how to analyze Bhagavan. That is there in the Shastra. Uh, this, this word Bhagavan is used not loosely. It has got meaning, characteristics. Uh, just like Krishna said when he was present, he said, Matta paratharam nanya. Nobody is superior than me. He proved it. So long Krishna was on the planet, he proved it. That no, no more superior. Uh, even from ordinary life, uh, as Grihastha, Krishna was uh, Grihastha, householder. Now he married sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. So uh, who has got this potency uh, to marry sixteen thousand? One, it is very difficult to maintain one wife. <laughs> one lady in America, he had a grown-up son. So I asked her, uh, why don't you get your son married? <clears throat> no, I have no objection. He can maintain a wife. I have no objection. Then I understood that it is very difficult to maintain a wife here. Uh, and actually it is difficult. Uh, so even from material point of view, Krishna, uh, as far as we can calculate, uh, we cannot conceive even at the present moment to maintain uh, more than one wife or uh, two wives. But he was maintaining sixteen thousand wives, sixteen thousand one hundred eight. Uh, but because we have no conception of God, we take it, this is all fictitious. Uh, God, when God gives His reality, uh, identification, and it is recorded in the Shastra, not by any lower class writer, but like Vyasadeva, and we take it fictitious. Just see our position. Vasudev has bothered his brain to write something fictitious. Just see how low-grade persons we are. Uh, 
uh, don't believe writing of Bhagavata. Or sometimes we say, no, no, this was not written by Bhagavata. It is the interpolation. If it is interpolation, then why the acharyas have accepted? They are also fools. Ramanu charja, Madhya charja, Vishnu Shami. They have made commentary on the Simadu Bhagavatam and they have mentioned, they have accepted. Yes, Krishna had sixteen thousand wives. Eh? So Vasudeva has written and the acharyas have accepted. And eh? then I have become such a great scholar that I say it is fictitious. And we have to believe these rascals. So don't go to rascal. If you want real knowledge, take it from Bhagavan. Bhagavan Then your knowledge is perfect. That is our process. We we have taken Bhagavad Gita as it is, and we are preaching. We don't preach anything else which Bhagavan does not say. Bhagavan says, Manmana Bhagavan Bhakta Madhyaji Manu. We are canvassing, my dear sir. You just become a devotee of Krishna. You always think of Krishna. Krishna says, Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta. We say, you just think of Krishna, the same thing. There is no change. We do not interpret in a way. This manmana means this and madhvakta means that. No, we don't do that. <coughs> we present as it is. Therefore, if Krishna sees that one is presenting my message as I have given, then he is pleased. Therefore, it is said, kintu prabhurja priya eva tasya. He has become very dear because he do not nonsensically, he does not nonsensically change the meaning, that this means that, this meaning that. Why? When Krishna has said, that is everything perfect, why should I change it? And that is Guru. Priya. Suppose if you say something and if somebody takes it as it is and behaves like that, then you become pleased. And if you say to your son or to your servant something and he misunderstands and t- talks something else, then he becomes angry. You know, what this nonsense has understood. Similarly, a guru does not change the word of Krishna. Therefore he is called Bhagavan, servant Bhagavan. Krishna is the master Bhagavan, master God and the uh, guru who is serving Krishna sincerely he is the servant God. Therefore, Shastra says, Sakshadharitena samastha shastra ruktastatha bhavvata eva sadhi. In the morning also, these boys they sing Nartam Das Thakur. Arana koriya manyas. If you have got a pure, bona fide guru, then whatever he says, you do it. You don't think of anything else. Arna kuriya amaneya. Nava. That is all. So, we have to receive knowledge from Bhagavan or from a person who is servant of Bhagavan. Not that another imitation Bhagavan. Then you will spoil your life. That will not help you. So Bhagavan says, Athatte samparvakshami. Sam means sammak in full. Full knowledge, not partial. Athatte samparvakshami. Pra means prakishta rupe. Bakshami. Bakshami means I shall speak. Tattana. Tattana. Tattva is one. Absolute two. It cannot be two. But there are different phases of understanding the absolute truth. Therefore, here it is plural number. Tattana. Tattva is one. That is explained in another place. Madanti tattva vidas tattvam jajjyanam adhyam. Although tattva is realized in different phases, three phases. 
ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान ही थी सब ब्रह्म इम्पार्सनल पीच है ब्रह्मेति परमात्मा पर्स लोकलाइज पीच है ईश्वर सर्वभूता नाम रिद्धि से उज्जनति स्थिति दैट इज परमात्मा अन्नांतरस्थं परमानु चयांतरस्थं एक पशु रचयतम जगदन्न कोटि जच्छक्ति रस्ति जगदन्न चया जदंतम अन्नांतरस्थं परमानु चयांतरस्थं गोविंदमादि गुरुसम तमं गोविंदा इज इन विद इन द एटम परमात्मा सो दैट इज अनदर फीचर ऑल परवेडी एंड अनदर फीचर इज इम्पार्सनल ज्योति एंड द ओरिजिनल फीचर इज भगवान दैट फॉर कृष्णा से मत परतरम वेन यू हैव कम टू दिस प्लेटफॉर्म टू अंडरस्टैंड भगवान देन योर नॉलेज इज परफेक्ट वेद इष्ट सर भई अहम ही वेदम दैट इज परफेक्ट नॉलेज इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज भगवान देन योर नॉलेज इज इम परफेक्ट यू हैव टू लर्न अगेन फॉर मेनी मेनी बर्स देन यू कम टू द पॉइंट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज कृष्ण बहुना जन्म नवांति ज्ञानवान मान प्रबद्धति वासुदेव सर्वमीति समात्मा वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड तत्व द कृष्णा इज द ओरिजिन एंड द परमात्मा इज सेकेंडरी एंड द ब्रह्म इम्पार्ट इज द थर्ड स्टेटस सो देर फॉर इवन इफ यू आर ब्रह्म स्टेटस यू are not still a prakit uh, you are aparaksh uh, aparaksh uh, status not even adhokha uh, as i told you there are different stages of knowledge so the brahma gyan is parakha gyan pratyakha parakha aparak <coughs> and the uh, spiritual planets vaikuntha knowledge Uh, that is adhokha uh, and the knowledge about krishna and his planet golok vrindava that is aprakit so we have to transcend from this prakita status of life it is very very high grade status aprakit uh, aprakita status प्राकृत कोरिया माने विष्णु कले बर अपराध नाही आर इहार उप चैतन्य महापुरुष देन एनी रस्केल हु थिंक्स दैट द बॉडी ऑफ कृष्ण और विष्णु इज प्राकृत मेटीरियल दिस इज द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफेंस द मायावादी फिलोसफर दे थिंक लाइक दैट दैट द एब्सुलू ट्रूथ इम पर्सन But when he comes in form, he accepts the material body. This is the greatest offense. Aparad nahi ar iharu. Therefore, they cannot understand. What is that? Because they are aparadi. Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, "Mayavadi hoy Krishna aparadi." The mayavadi is they are offenders to Krishna. Therefore, they cannot understand Krishna. Offenders. Krishna is not exposed to the offenders. Naam prakasa sarvasa jubh maya samapit. So the Maya Vadis they cannot see Krishna. They cannot understand Krishna. Uh, they will avoid Krishna. Uh, they will speak so many things of spiritual knowledge, but avoid Krishna's figure, Krishna's form. They uh, think it is Maya. It is Maya. But it is not Maya. That is the original form. Abhijananti manga mura mana simtanuvasa. Because Krishna has got the form exactly the dibhuj muralidha, two hands with flute. That is Krishna's original form. Binum kannantang aravinda dalayatapsang varahabatang samasitam budasandarangam 
कंदर्प कोटि कमनीय विशेष शोभम गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तमाम सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड भगवान एंड वी हैव टू हियर फ्रॉम हिम एंड ही स्पीकिंग परफेक्टली इन ए भगवदगीता श्रीमद भागवताम एंड इफ यू टेक इट जज विदित्वा इफ यू आर फॉर्चुनेट एन आर टू अंडरस्टैंड दी वर्ड्स ऑफ कृष्णा एंड कपिल देव देन द रिजल्ट विल बी विमोचित इमीडिएटली बिकम लिबरेट इफ यू आर फॉर्चुनेट एन आर इफ यू आर इंटेलिजेंट एन आर टू अंडरस्टैंड दी वर्ड्स ऑफ कपिल देव और कृष्णा और ऋषाभ देव देर आर सो मेनी इनकारनेशन देन पुरुष ऑफ प्राकृत विमुच्छेद विमुच्छेद मीन बिकम फ्री एंड कॉन्टेमिनेट वट इज दैट कॉन्टेमिनेशन प्राकृत दिस मेटीरियल इन्फेक्शन दैट आई एम ब्राह्मण आई एम खुद क्षत्रिय आई एम वैश्य आई एम शूद्र आई एम अमेरिका आई एम इंडियन आई एम दिस आई एम दैट दिस आर ऑल प्राकृत प्राकृत मेटीरियल क्वालिफिकेशन Uh, even if you are perfect brahmin that is also material qualification but in the platform of pure brahmin you can have the chance of understanding the aprakita adokha uh, therefore uh, you have to uh, become brahmana uh, qualified brahmana then there is chance so in this age uh, Uh, it is very difficult to become exactly a vedic brahman uh, that is very very difficult because everyone has become shudra uh, kalo shudra samama in the college you cannot find out exactly a qualified brahman very there uh, very there that for vedic brahman is not possible it is our movement krishna consciousness movement is creating panchratri ki vidhi panchratri ki vidhi brahman means there is no evidence or there is no certainty whether one is a brahman or son of brahman because so many things are lacking but if he has got little test for krishna understanding he should be encouraged that is panchratri just like if there is little fire You fan it, fan it, and it will come out a big blazing fire. Uh, so this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to do that, uh, and uh, it is easier because in the shastra it is said by Sukadev Goswami that there is one opportunity. Uh, my dear King Parikhit, I describe to you about the faulty nature of this. Kali Ju, uh, but there is a very good opportunity for the people, fallen, conditioned soul of this Kali Ju. What is that? Now, Kalo Dosu Ni Dehi Rajan Asti Ji Ko Mahan Guna. The in the Kali Ju, it is like the ocean of fault. So, but still there is one.